Hey guys, Liam here, bringing you a new series on Minecraft modding. Um, in this series, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Forge, as well as Mod Loader, and even add particle effects, new tool sets without Scott Tools API. It's going to be really cool. Right, so this episode is going to be on how to set up Minecraft Forge. So I'm just going to run through how to do this. First of all, you want to go to your percentage app data into your dot minecraft folder ok I don't have any mods installed ok so open up your launcher I use SK's launcher and I'm going to force the game update And while you're doing all this, you might want to go and download MCP 6.x um, right here, MCP 62. Okay, it's been updated, so we're going to go and download Mod Loader and drag this into its correct directory. So I created a folder here. Want to have MCP in and want to hold all the textures we're going to be making. For textures folder, I've created three folders: one with terrain, GUI, and effects. These folders don't have any files in them at the moment, but they will in in the next episode. So we want to go into MCP and extract all these files into here. You want to go into your jar. Right, now you want to go and download Mod Loader. And find your Minecraft. Join your dot Minecraft. So bin open with WinRAR Archiver delete the meta inf drag and drop mod loader into your minecraft.jar then exit out of both of them as MCP installed, yes it has so now I want to go back, copy over our bin and resources folder this jars folder then you want to download forge do, 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 do. right recommended source just wait through the add fly link Now that's downloaded. What you want to do is go into your MCP folder, drag and drop Forge in there, exit out the WinRAR file. Now, in this Forge folder, you're going to want to run the install Windows command script, or if you're on a Mac, I think. It is or a Linux operating system, run the install.sh. And this will decompile your Minecraft.jar like MCP does, but it'll add the Minecraft Forge source code. So this shouldn't take long. And as you can see, I've been messing around with particle effects. Um, this is quite cool, in my opinion, because it allows for custom 
effects with the texture index these are all the vertexes basically where it will be drawn then it draws it then it binds back to the normal particles text file otherwise you would want run into problems otherwise so this will be done soon so whilst we're waiting find your eclipse folder and just click on it and wait for this to decompile I'll be right back when this decompiles see okay so as you can see it has installed all the minecraft forge files that it has to into the minecraft source so the effect renderer um, render global I have looks of it stuff like that and it's done and it can't find server source because we didn't put server sources in there so now we can go ahead and load up our MCP folder and hope this should work um, I forgot to download something for it which looks like it didn't cause any problems just let me check source no as you can see we've got our new packages here the forge and the forge packets which is SMP which we might do but I'm not sure so as you can see in forge there's hooks um, texture providers bone meal handlers, bucket handlers, chat handlers chunk loading handlers you can even make your own redstone just by adding one method to your block class it's pretty cool a hoe handler minecart collision ores uh, render world all that cool stuff so um, this has been episode 1 that's how you set up MCP. Next episode, we're go I'm going to run you through setting up a basic mod underscore file and using MCP, I mean Minecraft Forge, to um, well preload your text files, which we'll be creating. So I'll see you then.